Ma'am, what are the chapters that I should skip from organic chemistry? In one question, there is first two, three, four, five reagents that you have. First reagent, this is alkene. Then this reagent you have studied in that these kind of questions where mixed reagents are used. That is not from one chapter because students say that, ma'am, can I skip GOC? Ma'am, why you are asking us to do GOC again and again? Why you? Are so students, organic chemistry is the pain point of most of the students. And one question that I am frequently asked is, ma'am, what are the chapters that I should skip from organic chemistry? So in this video, I am going to tell you what to do, what not to do from organic chemistry in detail. But before that, understand one thing that organic chemistry makes about 40% of your chemistry syllabus and around 10 to 12 questions you can easily expect from organic chemistry. Now let's understand what kind of question, these are all your PYQs, what kind of questions they ask you from organic chemistry. So if you see this over here, in one question, there is first two, three, four, five reagents that you have. First reagent, this is alkene, then this reagent you have studied in hydrocarbons as well, haloalkenes, haloenes as well. This is a thing that you have studied in Grignard reagent formation in haloalkenes. This is what you have studied in carboxylic acid, Right. This is what you have studied in uh, this one. You have studied in uh, carboxylic acid and amines as well. You have studied this thing. So it's we, one thing is clear from here that this question is not from one chapter. It's from multiple chapters. And similarly, you have mixed reagents like here you have friedel craft alkylation as well and addition reaction as well. So do two things are here. Right. Even here you see three reagents are used. This you will see, this is in haloalkanes, this is partial hydrolysis that you have discussed in amines chapter as well and in uh, carboxylic acid and its derivatives as well. And this one you have studied in amines chapter that is Hoffman bromomide degradation. So one thing is clear from here that these kind of questions where mixed reagents are used that is not from one chapter that is mixed chapters right maybe sometimes they ask you questions from two chapters sometimes from three chapters where multiple regions are involved now if you're thinking i'll skip this chapter then you won't be able to do such questions and that is why my advice to you is don't skip any chapter instead do selected topics from each chapter because yes i understand you have very less time left so we'll be talking only practical things, what you can do in reality, right? So now, what are those selected topics from GOC, from other chapters? I'll tell you in detail, right? But now let's understand before understanding, okay, these are the GOC chapters. Let's understand what kind of questions, how they relate questions of GOC with the reactions. Because students say that, ma'am, can I skip GOC? Ma'am, why you are asking us to do GOC again and again? Why you are saying G not doing GOC is the biggest mistake? Let's understand that. Okay. With the help of proofs, all these are your PYQs. Now here they have asked that there is alpha beta dehydrohalogenation reaction. Right. In this case, they are asking you the rate of the reaction. Now that you can answer only on the basis of stability of intermediates that you learn from GOC. This question is dehydration and dehydration in dehydration you have the formation of carbocation and that you can answer only on the basis of stability of carbocation or rearrangement of carbocation if possible. Then this question is a direct question from GOC and direct questions from GOC are also asked. Sometimes in one shift we have seen they even asked four questions from GOC. Right. So that is a big deal and they are very direct questions based on acidity, basicity and isomerism. Right. Then if you see this question here, again in this reagent, you have carbocation formation, then rearrangement of carbocation. All these things you will only be able to understand if you have done this particular part of GOC. Now let's talk about this. What is this? First is Burhi, back bonding, aromaticity, resonance, hyperconjugation, inductive effect. Now, not just learning the definitions and all will not work. You should know how to apply this in stability of intermediates, right? Then how to apply stability of intermediates in acidic and basic strength. So these three topics are interrelated. Totally, it's actually one topic only, right? Then in isomerism, geometrical isomerism, whether they exist or not, that is very important. Uh, this you can still skip. ENZ, DN, L configuration, this you can still skip if you don't want to do this much, right? But I would advise you can do ENZ. Uh, it, it's possible that they ask you. But GI, you should not skip, right? That is very simple question that they directly ask you. Then number of stereoisomerism, I would ask you that do all the formulas for symmetrical, asymmetrical, calculation of optical, geometrical. But if you're like, ma'am, I don't want to do that much, 
right? Then one thing you must do, number of stereoisomerism calculations in asymmetrical. Because we have seen in 2025, they have asked you asymmetrical compounds and their stereoisomers, right? Then meta ortho para directing, which is again based on this resonance, whether phenol is met meta ortho or para, whether aniline is ortho para meta, whether benzaldehyde is ortho para meta, all these things will be answered based on resonance. Now, once you have done this, let's understand what are the other parts of organic chemistry that you must do. That is naming reactions, right? Now, each chapter has some specific naming reactions that are very important. And I have listed, if you're thinking I want to skip organic chemistry, I want to skip this chapter. Let's say you are thinking I'll skip alcohol phenol, right? But do at least the naming reactions from that chapter and you will thank me. The thank God I did because it's not like some new concept will in, in, involve in the new chapter. The concept throughout organic chemistry is same only. It's just that we are studying different, different functional groups. So you will not find it tough if you are skipping some chapter and you're doing the naming reaction, distinguished test, important reagents from that chapter. You will not find it difficult to understand because it is all related with each other. And this is a list of organic chemistry reactions that you must do. These are all the naming reactions, right? Now, next thing is, ma'am, what about mechanisms? Ma'am, should I do mechanisms or not? Now, understand one thing. In mechanisms, if you're thinking that I'll skip all the mechanisms, then that would be a mistake, right? So, I'll give you a shortcut here. What you do, instead of skipping the mechanism, see, first thing is, obviously, you should know the mechanism. So, this is for those students who are thinking, I hate mechanism, ma'am, I want to skip it. Ma'am, in 40 days, I can't learn these mechanisms. Let's say you are watching this video 20 days before the exam. Now, ma'am, I can't learn these mechanisms. That's also practical. You can't learn it 20 days before the exam. You will end up forgetting it only. So what you can do here? See, in mechanism, you need to understand one thing, that what is the intermediate involved? Like in acidic hydration, it's a very famous reaction where it is carbocation. Now, they may ask you the rearrangement. They may ask you the stability of carbocation from dehydration, as we have seen one of the questions. Then carbon and like soda lime decarboxylation in free radical like Woods, uh, Woods reaction, Coles electrolysis, you have free radical as the intermediate. So that you need to understand what intermediate is where. And there are only few reactions like that, which they ask you and uh, examples I have written over here. Now, there are some reactions, some naming reaction where doing the mechanism is a must, right? I'll tell you how. Coles electrolysis, right? You must do, at least you should know that what intermediate is here. If you don't want to do full mechanism, just remember that intermediate is there. Reamer Timer reaction, you should know full fledged here. Then you should also know, wait a minute, this is Kolb's reaction here, right? So Reamer Timer and Kolb's reaction that you have for phenol, both of them are very important. You should know the full uh, mechanism of that, in detail mechanism of that you must know, right? Then you have carbylamine reaction. This is isocyanide test. This is also very important for you. Hoffman bromamide, very important mechanism. Gabriel phenethylamide, very important. In Dow's process, you must know that benzene is formed here. What kind of mechanism this is, right? That is very important, right? Uh, then you have Kurchov's reaction here. Tautomerism is involved. That's why this reaction is so important. Williamson synthesis, why this is so important? Because uh, you need to understand what are the compounds. Is it SN1? Is it SN2? So these kind of questions are important here, right? Then aldol condensation. In aldol condensation, one thing is you should know the mechanism. Other thing is you must know without the mechanism how to do this question because there is no direct product here that, okay, product will be this. No, there is no direct product everything you have to go through a process for the product of aldol condensation without the mechanism as well how to uh, get the product you must know that okay so these are some of the important mechanisms that you have and now last part is the reagents that you have right in the reagents guys it's a simple thing the list of all the reagents that i have mentioned over here do that that will really really help you let's say hinsberg lucas Collins, felling, azodide, nitrous, Beer's reagent, ozonolysis, Grignard's electrophilic substitution, diazotization, osmium oxide, then QH aqueous and alcoholic, mild strong oxidizing reagent. Such a big list you have. How they react with one degree, two degree, three degree. Then you have here. You can also add one more. That is copper. Copper at three hundred degrees Celsius. LiLH4, NaBH4, reaction of ether with HI, hemiacetyl acetyl and ketyl formation. 
carbonyl compounds with nh2z here you have the formation of shifts base oxime right there multi, there is a proper chart given in your ncrt that you must know dehydrating agent like examples like h2so4 is a dehydrating agent like those examples bromination and nitration of nle this is electrophilic substitution where something different is happening right acetylation why it happens jones reagent that is in the oxidizing agents core uh, core house synthesis right hx with ether right okay then hx with ether is also one of the reaction that students tend to ignore but this is also very important for your exam point of view so guys do all the things that i have just told you in organic chemistry and trust me you are good to go do these selected important reagents do the selected important naming reactions go through goc at least go through stability of intermediates and barhe back bonding resonance inductive and aromaticity do all these effects that will really really help you i have given you with the proofs why it is so important now before going understand one thing that test series is also a very important part and that's why guys we have our eclavier rank booster test series over here click on this and you will see this is right now at 80% off available at just triple nine rupees and what you have here is 11 part test 20 five full test and three r each test is there 75 questions just like your je questions right just like your je exam right you will have the feeling that you are sitting in the exam that will help you to make a strategy of your own if for your exam hall because uh, if there is some uh, uh, cricketer who has just without any practice gone to the stadium he will end up doing mistakes right but when you have done practice like you are in the exam hall then the chances of mistake the chances of silly mistakes and getting that anxiety attack in the exam hall that decreases right that's why these mock tests are so important and guys we have also given you once you complete some of the topics right and you want to test yourself based on those high weightage important topics then this 93 high weightage topic tests are also provided to you along with the eclavier test series so all of that is at just 999 rupees you can see the link in the description box and you are good to go for that so that's it for today guys do let me know do you want me to make the similar video of or inorganic chemistry what to do what not to do from inorganic chemistry till then thank you so much bye bye